What if I told you that the single deadliest organism on Earth that kills billions of cells isn't lions or alligators, but yet something that we interact with in our everyday lives? These organisms are bacteriophages, or phages for short. They're a crazy looking virus with a 20 faced head, and there are billions living both on and inside of your body. Now that you're already intrigued, what if I told you that bacteriophages could be the solution to one of the biggest challenges in medicine, antibiotic resistant bacteria? This is because bacteriophages only kill bacteria, and are very good at it. Centuries ago, a small cut had the potential to kill people since we had no solution to bacterial infections. After discovering antibiotics, with the first being penicillin by Alexander Fleming, we no longer had to worry about most infections. However, years of misuse and the overuse of antibiotics created its own problem. The years where we've been sick and had our illness cured in hours from just taking Tylenol might be coming to an end. Superbugs are strains of bacteria that are resistant to several types of antibiotics. Drug-resistant bacteria infect more than 2 million people in the US and kill at least 23,000 every year. Now you might be wondering what bacteriophages actually are. As stated before, they're viruses that specialize in killing bacteria. They'll attach themselves to bacteria, inject their DNA within the bacteria, and turn it into a sort of bacteriophage manufacturing plant. This causes the host cell to die, and the name bacteriophage quite literally means bacteria eater. Phages are considered a virus as they can't survive independently without relying on host cells, which in their case are bacteria. Phages have been evolving alongside bacteria and are doing pretty well, waging a sort of cellular war. Besides living things, they can be found in soil, water, sewage, pretty much anywhere the bacteria can be found. Although they sound deadly, bacteriophages pose no threat to humans, and even though they're living all over your body, you would never notice them. Bacteriophage cells contain specific receptors to interact with other cells, and human receptors are very different, meaning they have not shown any evidence of the ability to attack human cells. Our immune system can respond to their presence, but no harm is actually done to any of our cells, and they've been considered harmless. They do not recognize our cells as bacteria, and therefore do not consider our cells as prey. While bacteriophage treatment is still considered experimental, it has been successful in treating drastic bacterial infections, and even when all antibiotics have failed, phages can still succeed in killing the bacteria and saving lives from deadly infections. Bacteriophages are given to patients directly at the location of the bacteria using either oral administration with liquid capsules or directly into the bloodstream using injections, with both methods being done specifically so that the bacteriophages arrive right on target at the site of infection. The goal was to allow the bacteriophages to use the bacteria for reproduction, and in one study, researchers reported a 92% success rate against a dangerous strain of E. coli that had become resistant. Currently, our response to antibiotic-resistant bacteria is to try different antibiotics. These can be very expensive and attempt to attack the bacteria through different mechanisms that the bacteria are not resistant to. There are currently 43 new antibiotics which have been given top priority for clinical development by the WHO, and while all show promise against certain strains of superbugs, they all have a similar likelihood of becoming resistant and creating an even more resistant generation of bacteria. One example of a new antibiotic being tested against superbugs is clovibactin, which has been observed to kill certain superbugs, but its development has been slow and hasn't been used in humans at all. This is the state of many new drugs, and research on bacteriophages is much more advanced and promising. While I've discussed the enormous potential that phage technology has, it's important to understand that most biotechnology has its limitations, and that it's not the perfect superhero that will save us from superbugs. To start, there is a lot of support for the classic and in most cases effective antibiotic treatments. There isn't much investment into bacteriophage treatment because many pharmaceutical companies don't believe it's a necessary treatment right now. There are labs within Europe and Russia actively producing bacteriophages, but more support is needed or the treatment will be extremely expensive. Phages are also very difficult to prepare for use in people, and a lot more research and support is necessary before broad commercial use can be considered. Due to how bacteria function and the way they're able to evolve so quickly, bacteria can become resistant to the bacteriophage treatment, which would render the treatment potentially useless. 
However, it's possible that bacteria must forfeit some of their antibiotic resistance capabilities to resist bacteriophages, meaning that combined treatment is also an option that could be effective. It's also possible that the immune system will react to bacteriophages and target them, making the treatment useless. Certain studies have shown that the human immune system may detect, target, and kill bacteriophages within the body, meaning the treatment would be useless. This is rare and hasn't been properly observed in human test subjects, however it still raises concerns. Now you might be wondering whether bacteriophages can enhance our current treatment practices, and you'd be correct. It turns out that when superbug bacteria tries to become more resistant to bacteriophages, it must sacrifice some of its resistance to antibiotics. So while bacteriophages may not be a complete solution that will remove the dangers of bacteria, their combined administration with traditional antibiotic resistance may solve the superbug crisis after all. Bacteria have responded to our treatment methods and become greater threats due to the superbug crisis, but newer methods, including the usage of bacteriophages, might be the solution to this difficult medical challenge.